Hi, this is Sean from Soundcraft, here with another installment of our UI series tutorials. Now we're on chapter six, where we're going to be discussing our Digitech AMP modeling, our DBX automatic feedback suppression, and our Lexkin effects. So now we're connected to our UI mixer. Elliot briefly mentioned the edit functionality in chapter four, and this is where all three features this tutorial will cover are found. So starting with the Digitech AMP modeling, you'll notice on your UI 12 or UI 16 that input one and input two have a Digitech AMP model icon over their connectors. This is because these two inputs are the inputs on your UI mixer that have the Digitech AMP modeling functionality and switchable high Z inputs. A high Z input means that the input impedance is much higher and can accommodate a very high impedance signal, like a signal coming from passive pickups in a guitar or bass, or even a piezo pickup. If your guitar has passive pickups and you want to plug directly into your UI mixer, you'll want to enable this high Z switch on that input. You can do this in two ways. By going to the gain page here and clicking the high Z, or going back out, go on channel one, which is one of our Digitech AMP models. You can either double click there or hit the edit tab, go to the Digitech and turn on the high Z. So that's two separate ways you can enable the high Z inputs. If you're using active pickups or if you have a line output on your acoustic guitar with active electronics or something like that, you will not need to use the high Z input. So now here is our Digitech page. So again, on channel one or channel two, we have the Digitech tab up at the top L2 at navigation. So this is the bypass switch over here. We're just gonna turn that on. This page is designed as a one-stop shop for guitarists. So uh, here you have you know the Digitech AMP kind of graphic, and that enables you to do two things. Firstly, you can set your AMP model. So this is the like, AMP head. So this is what kind of tone you want your AMP to be. So do you want it to be, let's say, a Fender Blackface or uh, something like a, a a Gibson or a Fender Tweed. We have more as well. We have uh, all the like Mesa stuff, PV, so on and so forth. And at the bottom, we even have uh, some Digitech amps and acoustic modeling as well. So a Dreadnought or uh, a Jumbo uh, acoustic guitar as well. Then the cabinet also gives you the ability to do a cabinet model. So you can do something like an acoustic Jumbo cab which again is a, is a special model that Digitech has done uh, to match the acoustic jumbo amp. And you have a lot more options other than that as well. You can also do the, like one of the Digitech cabs, you have Vox, Fenders, Marshalls, all sorts of stuff. For now, I'm just gonna leave it on an acoustic jumbo to match the uh, amp. So now here are the other things that you can adjust besides the amp model and the cab model. So to the right, you have the overall tone setting. So similar to uh, what you find on a guitar amp, you have your gain setting. Uh, you have level. So gain is kind of the pre sig the pre uh, output kind of level, which gives you some distortion and tone shaping. Whereas the level will just bring down the overall level or bring it up. Then you have bass, mid, and treble, similar to what you'd experience on a guitar amp. But then you also have all these bits over here. So. Uh, it's kind of designed as a one-stop page for guitarists. So, you know, if you're playing your gig, you don't have to, you know, flip around on the UI uh, interface a lot. You can just keep this one page open and control everything that way. So here, if I click the reverb, you have your reverb send value, which is pretty handy. Here you have your delay send value. Watch, notice that it goes on, the, the lead goes on when I raise the level. When I bring it all the way down, it goes off. So here's the chorus. This especially sounds really nice on acoustic guitars. Um, then you have, you know, your high pass filter, which is pretty important to set, uh, on most guitars. You get a lot of rumble on, on especially on acoustic guitars and whatnot. So you want, want to set that, you know, somewhere N you don't want to ruin all the tone in your guitar either. You want to keep your lowest fundamentals. So, you know, play around with your high pass filter. Then you have a notch filter. So the notch filter is good, uh, as a lot of guitars have a weird resonance at certain values. So what a notch, uh, filter is, is it's a very narrow Q EQ filter. And if we go here, you'll be able to see, there it is there, uh, very, very narrow. And that's really good because that allows you to eliminate a very targeted fre frequency that you're having an issue with. I know on a couple of my guitars, there's areas like in 4K where they just don't sound so nice. So I would use a notch filter to, to take that out. Uh, then you have your compressor. So all the same compressor values that you have uh, on the dynamics page, you just have them again in the one-stop guitarist page 
and then you have your gate threshold. So that's the overall Digitech page. Uh, we also have presets for that stuff, and you can also bypass the DeAmp modeling that way.